Hi guys, and welcome to The Shakedown with John Mason. Now this week, I'm in beautiful Eindhoven for the Swimming World Cup Series, and I'm going to take you behind the scenes to get up close and personal with some of your favorite athletes. So let's do it. Guys, here we are, joining me for my first ever Shakedown. Can you believe it? Um, Two-time Commonwealth medalist, killing the series so far. Legend, an all-round nice guy. <laughs> I forget anything. No, I'm professional either. You know? Professional always, either. Always just challenge anything possible. Anything. We love that. It's oh. nothing. Um, it's Republic of South Africa's Ryan Gotti. Yes. Yes, <laughs> Ryan the Rhino. Where does the Rhino oh. come from? Uh, there was a, there was a coach that I signed with when I was younger, and I don't know if he really couldn't say my name properly, <laughs> and it kind of just he went with Ryan O. So he's kind of adding Rhino. like an O to the to my name, and kind of just got to the Rhino point and. It's stuck done. for a while and then but Rhino is like a pretty cool like animal name I feel like if I was to have one it would be like John the Three Toed Sloth or something you know <laughs> something terrible and really lame look we're getting off topic we're getting off topic okay so we've got five questions aim of the game right. get to know you just a little bit better you ready for your shakedown yeah maybe have some answers yeah I All hope right. so there was one you know celebrity on the face of the planet that you could like make out with would be wow as a kid, it was always Jessica Alba. Jessica so Alba. I, so I, I think I gotta go old and traditional there. I love yeah. that. When I, when I grew up, it was always Jessica Alba. Did you have like posters and of her on your room? No, but like Into the Blue. Yeah. That, that movie set it off. Everything yeah. was just that was it. She's she, she, she a stunner. Yeah. Single yeah. girls. <laughs> Some Catching food. Like. <laughs> That's what you got. What's your biggest phobia? Ooh. I don't have. Everyone's got a phobia. I had phobias as a kid, though. Yeah. It's like, I, I was terrified of, like, I was claustrophobic. Like, small like, spaces. Well, even big spaces look small. <laughs> I remember, like, we were doing this cave thing, and, like, I was terrified. Like, adults could go through it, but I felt like I was getting stuck. Yeah, and I can do it. Like, is it? No. You can't get into a cupboard, or you can't drive a mini? No, no, no. Like, I, I can sleep in a coffin if I want to. <laughs> it's good now. He's cured his phobia. I love that. Um, all right, I love this. I'm getting to know quite a bit about you. If you were stuck on a desert island, who would be three people you'd take with you? Oh, uh, so Juan, my Mexican uh, golf roommate from <laughs> about two years ago. Lorenzo, Italian golf roommate from last year. And also, like, we're all together. Yeah. Uh, fourth one. It's your last one. Mm. Come on, are you thinking? David, 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 David. That's so, it, because, like, other, otherwise, like, things, like, will get too soon. Serious. Dude, well, David Brass, so if you don't know him, is a huge laugh. But <laughs> can I say, I love that you went with Danta instead of like, I was thinking like Bear Grylls or like someone <laughs> who would like save my life. Oh, I mean, like, and no, you're no. like, no, I'm just going to have a laugh. Yeah, there, there's no logic about it at all. It's just. Do you believe in aliens? Ooh. Yeah, sure. Would you ever want to meet an alien? Yes. You would? Yeah, because I want to know what they know, though. Right, I know you love your food. <laughs> If you were on death row, right, it's your last meal, starter, main, dessert, Ooh. what would it be? Like dessert, peppermint, crisp tart. Peppermint, crisp tart? Yes, okay. 100%. Main. Main would definitely be probably about a kilogram or two pounds of ribeye steak uh, with a side of mashed potatoes, gravy, or oh, no veggies. We're not doing veggies here. No row. veggies. No, we're not, not doing veggies on death row. Uh, Oh, garlic bread with cheese and built on. Okay. Right? That is... That's quite lunch. possibly the most South African thing you've yes. ever said. Yes. Garlic 100%. bread with cheese and built on. <laughs> yeah. Heaven. Heaven. A heavenly... <laughs> Vignette. Dudes, this is fun. Thanks for coming to hang out. I feel like I've learned a lot awesome. about Ryan Kotze. Kill in the series. Thanks, bro. Dude, Dude welcome to Asia. It's not going to be the same oh, without you. Oh, pleasure. Right. Uh, if people want to follow you, where can they find you? Uh, Ryan the Ryan on Instagram or Twitter. So if you want to hear more about Ryan and his foods, give him a follow. Anyway, thanks guys. We'll see you in a bit.